After watching and following these proven boroscope inspection techniques and tips, you will be able to capture the best remote visual inspection images and videos. To begin, start each inspection by making sure the SD card is inserted into the video boroscope. The SD card is not properly aligned if it does not slide smoothly into the slot. Check the direction and never use force. Once you have guided the insertion tube inside the inspection access port and located the inspection target, the most important factor to capturing the best inspection images and videos is lighting. By utilizing the brightness control button, you can find the best level of lighting for each inspection situation. If the inspection camera is close to the inspection target, it can be helpful to reduce brightness to obtain a better quality image or video. Inspection images and videos can improve if the camera angle and tip are pointed at an angle towards the inspection area rather than straight on. This can create more depth to an inspection image. Try to capture multiple images or videos of anomalies noticed during an inspection. By doing so, you will have several files to reference and can ultimately choose the best images or videos. While recording a video, generally it is best to start recording after the insertion tube is at the end of the inspection site and record footage while slowly pulling the insertion tube towards you. When you are ready to remove the boroscope from the inspection area, always return the joystick to a center position and move the bending section to a straight position before beginning to slowly remove the insertion tube. When you are ready to remove the boroscope from the inspection area, always return the joystick to the center position and move the bending section to a straight position before beginning to slowly remove the insertion tube. Always be sure to keep one hand on the tip of the insertion tube and return the video boroscope and all accessories to the case. After every use, we recommend cleaning the video boroscope. Start by wiping down the insertion tube with a Clorox wipe, followed by drying it with a dust-free cloth. Next, use an alcohol crush tube to clean the lens. By bending the center of the crush tube until it pops, the alcohol solution will moisten the cotton swab tip. Gently clean the camera lens with the tip of the crush tube, followed by drying the lens with a pointed Q-tip. Any unused alcohol solution can be returned to the storage bag to use after completing your next inspection. Always make sure the boroscope and insertion tube are completely dry before returning the boroscope back to its case and be sure to watch the video that discusses how to remove and return the video boroscope to and from the case. Finally, it is strongly recommended that you keep the Butech video boroscope and all accessories inside the case when it is not in use. If the next required inspection is more than a month away, we urge you to remove the battery from the video boroscope and store it inside the case. As a best practice, charge each battery once depleted and always have a fully charged spare battery on hand. You, your colleagues, and inspection team will appreciate the Butech video boroscope being ready to go prior to your next inspection.